Thank you. I thank the Honourable Member for the uh, question, uh, which have also been um, alluded to slightly this morning. There have been challenges, and uh, we do agree, and um, as it has been acknowledged in terms of the monitoring and regulation of small boats traveling between uh, our coastal communities, between islands. The first and foremost, the, the safety of small boats and monitoring rests with the boat owners and boat masters. If they are certified, they do know what to do, and they are trained in it. Uh, what MSEF is working on now is uh, to establish the current problem we have is the monitoring and, uh, and implementation of the regulations eh? down to that uh, village level. So um, there are MSF officers uh, based in various locations, but they cannot cover or monitor everything. Eh? And, uh, so uh, we have uh, MSF has established uh, currently working on consultations on the MOU with the Ministry of Tokyo Affairs for the engagement uh, and uh, assistance of Turani Koros or Matani Tikinas uh, as uh, sort of em enforcement officers or compliance. And uh, this could involve the checks on registration of small boats, ensure that uh, these small boats have been uh, surveyed and registered, and that they have the right uh, safety equipment. And those who are operating it are qualified of the certificate of uh, competencies. And also, they are able to provide advice to boat owners uh, in terms of the weather situation, uh, right advice on the passengers' loading capacity, and also in terms of the communication channels available, and uh, in terms of uh, OIN instances of emergencies, eh? and uh, of course, closely liaising with the um, stakeholders such as the local police, and also able to um, submit some kind of uh, monthly reports as part of their monthly reports uh, required with the Ministry of Tokyo Affairs. Minak. Honorable Speaker, supplementary question. <clears throat> I uh, thank the Minister for his response. Uh, Honourable Speaker, sir, the point here is on the enforcement aspects. I understand the big picture at the strategic level, the laws and regulations that has been in place. And I uh, just wanted to bring this to the attention of the Minister. It's a tough uh, job on the ground. And I'm uh, trying to use Tavune as an example, uh, Honourable uh, Speaker, sir. Uh, yesterday is a matter of just an exercise. I deployed a small team from the Celsius village just to monitor uh, the boats that are coming from Tabuni to Mate Landing. 30 arrived at uh, Mate Landing between 8 o'clock to 12. Out of the 30, only a few were wearing flag jackets and the list went on. And this morning again, the team was deployed again. There were 14 boats that arrived from uh, Gamea and uh, not many were wearing those uh, flag jackets or life jackets where they were asked, they said, oh, we left it at home. My question, the Honorable Minister, can we review the modus operandi of, uh, at the operation level or tactical level? Uh, I know the resources are limited, but it can be done. There are many hands uh, on the ground that could be used just to make sure that, uh, that it doesn't uh, result in any of these uh, undo situation that may cost us more, more so of a life. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Before you reply, do that, uh, recall the statement uh, shared by the Honorable Nopoto, the standing committee travel from Unolewu to Tavuni on two open funds. Very little was seen on the safety aspects of uh, the travel, that travel. That included parliamentary standing committee. No life jackets were seen. But these were the ones that were always uh, traversing this uh, 
to Alice. So thank you, sir. As uh, I mentioned, the, the regulations are there. It's just the, the monitoring and the, I suppose the components of uh, monitoring and enforcement. So uh, as I already mentioned, um, the infrastructure of the Ministry of Tokyo Affairs is there, and we are working with them uh, in terms of some of their personnel on our best uh, to uh, to, uh, and to do the enforcement and the monitoring. And um, I suppose the other part is the, you know, what is the responsibility of the community themselves? Eh? And that's the wider, I suppose, awareness uh, and respect uh, in terms of uh, observing safety, safety protocols. Eh? So it needs, uh, from what I've seen, even um, crossing rivers in my province, that is a requirement, but uh, it's just they, uh, they do it once there's an enforcement officer there. Once they move away, then it goes back to the, that old practice. Eh? So I suppose it's a general attitude uh, in society in terms of safety. Eh? And uh, I suppose uh, a lot are saying that they are Taiwan, but. Uh, Nobody is a takeaway, only the fish, I suppose. So, yes, it, it would be involve like a wider community wide or nationwide change in attitude amongst our people here. Yeah. I mean, not another task force, but just, uh, just uh, you know, starting from us. Yeah? Uh, I mean, I've been guilty of not wearing a life jacket crossing a river. So uh, if the members of the standing committee, I'm not sure whether they wore it or not. You did it? You did, okay. So uh, even for us, ministers or members of parliament, if we can send out that message as we are traveling, then uh, that'll be good. Eh? It's not that, uh, I mean, I'm not perfect. I haven't practiced it too, but it's something that uh, we need to do. Eh? And also, uh, yeah, it's just an attitude change. Eh? And uh, yeah, so I'll need the, because uh, Tavuni has been used as an example today. I would uh, like to request uh, to run out to the cow. We have only one marine check, huh? Yes. To, we have uh, the whole island of Tavuni, yet we have so many Turani Koros. Yes. So and when, how do uh, we get the Turani Koros to. So I mentioned, sir, this morning. Or even the villages. Yes. So we'll work on that with our various uh, stakeholders and ministries, and uh, I request you, sir, as the paramount chief, <laughs> to also assist with uh, Nasel Sel and uh, the Tikina yeah. in that regard. And uh, we all have to work together in this regard, uh, maritime safety, Navalio.